Hello, and welcome back to Fire and Steel. I'm Andrew, and today we'll be doing a deep dive on Guts' sword, Dragon Slayer. Stick around till the end, because we're also giving you an exclusive look at a real-life replica of this iconic sword. Kentaro Miura's masterpiece, Berserk, features the Dragon Slayer, a sword that defies all standards, unlike the sleek and elegant weapons often seen in fantasy. The Dragon Slayer is all about raw power and defiance. Let's look at its design. It's huge, like really huge. This sword isn't just big, it's abnormally large. It's more like a slab of iron than a traditional sword. When you see Guts is swinging this sword, you feel its weight. It's not just about the size, it's about the impact it has. It's not designed to be pretty, it's designed to be intimidating, to be a physical representation of Guts' raw strength and resilience. It's a visual masterpiece that redefines the aesthetics of a hero's weapon. In the story, the Dragon Slayer was designed and crafted by a blacksmith named Goto. Originally, it was meant to be a dragon-killing weapon, but it was so big and unwieldy that nobody could use it. It was more of an art piece than a weapon. Then comes Guts, a man who sees this useless sword and decides to make it his own. This is the key moment in Berserk. It shows that Guts is not your average hero. He takes this impractical oversized sword and turns it into a symbol of his fight against destiny, against overwhelming odds. The sword's impracticality becomes its strength, much like Guts himself. Over the course of Berserk, we see Guts and the Dragon Slayer become one. In the beginning, the sword is a big burden. It's too big, too heavy, but as Guts faces more challenges, he grows into it. He adapts to its weight and its size. The sword that was once a burden becomes his greatest asset. It's a beautiful metaphor for personal growth and adaptation. As Guts' skills increase, so does his ability to wield this massive weapon. It's not just about physical growth, but emotional and mental growth as well. The Dragon Slayer becomes an extension of Guts' will to survive and fight. Because the Dragon Slayer is so difficult to use, it influences every aspect of Guts' fighting style. The sword makes him more brutal and direct in combat. The size and weight of the Dragon Slayer mean that every swing is a gamble, a fight against gravity itself. This adds a unique dimension to the fight scenes. It's not about elegance, it's about survival. The sword reshapes the very way action is portrayed in the manga. It's not just a tool for combat, it's a character in its own right, shaping the way battles unfold and the way they are drawn. Now let's take a look at the design of the Dragon Slayer Sword. Here we have the Dragon Slayer Sword right out of Berserk. This thing is massive. Over four feet long, and it's all about raw, unrefined power. Just holding it, you get why it's Guts' choice. It's not just big, it's imposing. And the craftsmanship here is top-notch. With high-quality carbon steel and a design that's true to the original. This beast is over eight pounds. You can really feel the heft, which makes it feel all the more real when swinging it around. You get a sense of the strength Guts must have. It's a workout, but in the best way possible. When you hold it, you can't help but feel a bit of Guts' determination. That never-say-die attitude. It's not just cool for fans. It's inspiring in a way makes you want to face your own battles head on. All in all, this Dragon Slayer is legit. It's a beast, a symbol, a motivator. I absolutely love it. It's not excessively heavy, but if you like something easier to handle or to take to a convention, you can check out our high density foam replica in our store. It's just as badass, but a little wider. As you just saw, the Dragon Slayer is a physical representation of the burdens Guts carries. Its weight symbolizes the challenges and traumas of his past. Every time Guts lifts this sword, it's like he's lifting the weight of his own history. But it's also the symbol of his strength. It shows his ability to carry these burdens and still fight. It's a powerful visual metaphor for the resilience and the human capacity to endure and overcome. 
The Dragon Slayer is not just a weapon. It's a symbol of Guts' unbreakable will. His ability to wield such a massive sword reflects his determination to keep fighting, no matter the odds. It's a testament to his character, to his refusal to be beaten down by life. It's a constant reminder that in Berserk, the real battles are fought within. Finally, let's compare the Dragon Slayer to traditional fantasy swords. Normally, heroes wield elegant, noble blades. But the Dragon Slayer, it's the antithesis of that. It's raw, it's brutal, it perfectly fits the dark, gritty world of Berserk. It's a departure from the typical hero sword. Much like Guts is a departure from the typical hero. The sword reflects the manga's themes of struggle, darkness, and the complexity of its characters. It challenges our perceptions of what a hero's weapon should be, just as Berserk challenges our perceptions of heroism itself. And that's the story behind the Dragon Slayer, the legendary sword from Berserk. It's a symbol, a character, an integral part of one of the most fascinating stories in manga. If you feel a deep connection with Guts' relentless drive to push forward, owning a replica of the Dragon Slayer sword can be a powerful embodiment of that spirit. This iconic symbol and resilience and strength isn't just a piece of memorabilia. It's a daily reminder of your personal journey to overcome challenges, perfect for display at home or as a striking element in your cosplay. It's not just a tribute to Berserk, but a personal emblem of your own unyielding determination to preserve against all odds. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share for more deep dives into your favorite stories. See you later, guys.